For more on our election coverage this morning, we're turning to political expert and editor of the LULAC Political Letter, David Yonka, is here this morning with us. Happy to be here. Thank you. Absolutely. Well, we're talking about uh, Williamsport mayoral race, Gabe Campana. First time since the 1940s, more than 60 years, is someone to win three terms. Impressive stuff, but expected. Well, expected because Campana's family has been a mainstay in Williamsport for a long period of time. His father was a noted doctor, his mother was a nurse, healthcare professional, so they have roots in the community. And plus, I think people in Williamsport, and like other towns, want to control three variables that are uncontrollable, and they need a manager. And those three vari variables are crime, job creation, and quality of life. Now, if you ask somebody, you know, what they want uh, to do about crime, they say, well, we don't want crime. We want more jobs and we want a better quality of life. So I think that his 12 years on council, his eight years as mayor, that kind of gave him the opportunity to, you know, win re-election. His opponent talked about um, uh, the police protection is more police may not be the answer. That's true. But Campana in the campaign, shortly before the campaign, asked for more police for um, the city of Williamsport. And I think if you have more of a police presence, uh, that's going to help not eliminate crime, but erode it. They had seven homicides this year so far in Williamsport. That was a big issue. He asked for money from the gas drillers. They have 50 police officers in a town of 30,000. So crime, I think, was a big issue, and I think people want a manager. And as we shall see, in the Hazleton and Wilkesbury races, it kind of dovetails with what happened in uh, Williamsburg. Sure. And uh, David, you call Campana accessible. Talk a little bit about Well, that. I think that he's one of the people that, I mean, if you take a look at that picture, you know, I think when you have that many children, you have to be accessible <laughs> to so many people. And uh, from what I've understood, he is the type of person where if you come to him with an idea, uh, he is very open and accessible. And that's very important. Not that his, can't, not that his uh, opponent, Emily Gale, was not. But he has a res uh, resume, he has a record, and also the voter registration in uh, Williamsport, you know, leans more toward Republican than Democrat. So a combination of those things, you know, made him make history last night. All right, and you mentioned those two other mayoral races in Wilkesbury and Hazleton. We will be touching on them again this morning. Thanks to David Yonkai for joining us. We'll check back in with a bit, David. Thank you.